guys, welcome to my vlog. Good morning, anyways. Uh, so today, for, so for today's vlog, we are going to visit uh, one historical places, which uh, which I know here in Cavite, which is in Trece Martinez, Cavite. So, what are we waiting for, guys? Let's go. A few moments later. So guys, we just arrived at the monument at exactly 12 p.m. here in Trece Martinez, Cavite. And let's check it out. So our goal, our goal is to when we reach the monument of the 13 martyrs, is to know the historical value of this historical site and the background of the 13 martyrs. Let's go. The place where the monument of the 13 martyrs is located is in the city of Trece Martires. Trece Martires is the Spanish for the 13 martyrs and it is named after the 13 martyrs of Cavite. And it is a group of rebellion and executed by the Spanish colonial government on September 12, 1896 in the old port city of Cavite during the Philippine Revolution. ng Cavite. Sila ay ang mga kilalang mamamayan ng Cavite na dinakip sa salang pakikipagsabuatan sa mga katipunero kaugnay ng naganap na pagkaalsa sa Cavite noong Agosto 31, 1896. Bagaman at walang kasalanan sa krimeng ibinibitang sa kanila, sila ay hinatulad ng kamatayan ng komisyong militar na lumitas sa kanila. Sila ay pinaril noong ang hapon ng September, September 12, 1896 
sa kutang San Felipe, lungsod ng Cavite, ang mga martira na ito ay si na Luis Aguado, Eugenio Obesas, Feliciano Cabugo, Agapito Conchu, Maximo Inocencio, Maximo Gregorio Antonio, Jose Laliano, Severino Lapidario, Victoriano Luciano, Alfonso de Ocampo, Francisco Osorio, at Hugo Perez, at Antonio Salamusti. The first martyr is Maximo Inocencio. He was born on November 18, 1833 in Cavite. He was married to Narcisa Francisco and had nine children. He was implicated in the Cavite mutiny of 1872 because he was a Freemason. Sentenced to 10 years imprisonment and exiled in Cartagena, Spain, together with Peru Masons, Enrique Paraiso, and Crisanto de los Santos. They were able to escape. Later, Inocencio crossed the border to France and from Marseilles, and he was able to obtain pardon. Upon his return to the Philippines, he, was, he resumed his business in construction, trading, shipbuilding, logging, and so many he was a contractor of the Cavite Arsenal. The second part here is Maximo Gregorio. He was a Katipunan organizer and a Freemason and was born on 1886 in Pasay, Morong, which is now called Rizal. And he was married to Celedonia Santiago, with whom he had four children. He was drafted into the Spanish colonial army while studying in the Trans. He was inducted to Regiment No. 72 and sent to Holosilu to fight the Muslims. Upon his return, he was appointed Chief Clerk of the Commissaria de Guerra in Cavite. The third one is Severino Lapidario. He was to start the uprising by releasing the prisoners and arming them to join the revolution. He was born in Timus, Cavite on January 8, 1847. Lapidario had been a corporal in the Spanish Marine Infantry and was implicated in the Cavite Mutiny of 1872. Later, he regained the confidence of his superiors and became the alcalde of the Cavite Provincial Jail in 1890. He earned the respect of the prisoners because he allowed them occasional visits to their families. He also sent them on secret propaganda missions to the Veleta, Kawi, and Bacoa. The fourth martyr is Luis Aguado. He was the son of the captain in the Spanish Navy. He became supply chief of the Spanish arsenal in Fort San Felipe. He married Felisa Osorio, sister of Francisco Osorio, and the oldest daughter of Antonio Osorio, a Chinese Filipino businessman reputed to be the Bridges at the Cavite at that time. Aguada's widow would later marry Daniel Ria Tirona. The fifth martyr is Alfonso de Ocampo. And he was a Spanish mestizo, a Mason, and a Capitolero. He was born in 1860 in Cavite and had been a sergeant in the Spanish colonial army before his appointment as assistant provincial jail warden. He was married to Ana Espirito and had two children. Next is Victoriano Luciano. He was born on March 23, 1863, owner of Botica Luciano in Calgary, now Trece Martires Street, Cavite City, which was used as a meeting place of the Hattiqueros. He was a Freemason. He kept contact with other Masons and revolutionists in the Bicolo region, especially the Abela brothers were among the Bicol Martyrs executed in Bagumbayan on January 4, 1897. He was a brilliant pharmacist, a member of the Coleo de Farmacéuticos de Manila, and was awarded by the Scientific Society of Brussels in Belgium for his formula for rare perfume The seventh martyr is Feluciano Cabujo. At 31, he was the youngest of the 13 martyrs. He was born to a wealthy family in Caridad, Cavite, Puerto, on June 9, 1865. He was married to Marcelat Bernal, also of Caridad, by whom he had two sons who died in 
pansin. He was working as a clerk in Kanakao Hospital when he joined Mason Lee and later the Katipunan. His house was also used as a meeting place of the leaders of the uprising. The eighth one is Hugo Perez. He was a doctor of medicine. Born in 1856 in Binondo, Manila, he was called Dumadante by his fellow Katipuneros and was reportedly a worshipful master of a lodge in Cavite. Nine is Jose Laliana. He was a tailor of whose shop was also used by the Katipunan as a meeting place. He was born in Cavite in 1836 and was married to Benita Tapawan of Kimus, by whom he had two children, Clara and Damon. Ramon joined the Philippine Revolution, so when his father's death, but never returned, he lived to have been killed action. The tenth one is Eugenio Cabezas. He was born in 1855 in Santa Cruz, Manila. He was a goldsmith and owned a jewelry and watch repair shop in Calieri which is Trece Marquez Street in Cavite, which was also used as a meeting place by the Katipunan. He was married to Luis, Luis Antonio of Cavite and had seven children. Eleven is Francisco Osorio. He was born to a wealthy family and well-connected family in Cavite in 1816. He was the brother-in-law of Luis Aguado, but was not a member of Masonry or of the Katipunan. 12th is Agapito Conchu. He was born in 1862 was, and was a native of Binondo, Manila. He migrated to Cavite and became a school teacher, musician, photographer, painter, and lithographer. And last but not the least, Antonio de San Agustin. He was born to a wealthy family in San Roque, Cavite on March 8, 1860. He studied at the Lentan College at the University of Santo Tomas. His bookstore, the Aurora, was also a meeting place of the Katipunan, and he was married to Juliana Reyes.